Nexium or the purple pill. We spend, as a nation, $6 billion a year on it. Consumer watchdog Jen Strathman now has the warning that Nexium and drugs like it are being overused. For over a decade, millions have raised their hand for the proven relief of the purple pill. These ads have helped make Nexium the biggest selling prescription drug today. It's one of many proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, and it's often prescribed for heartburn to keep your stomach from producing too much acid. But unless you have gastroesophageal reflux disease, and that's really when you have heartburn a couple times a week for several months on end, you actually may not need such a strong drug. Nexium and other PPIs have drawbacks. They don't start working immediately. You must take them daily, and they've been linked to side effects, including pneumonia and bone fractures. For occasional heartburn, choose an over-the-counter antacid, like Tums or Rolaids. Or you might want to try a different kind of drug called an H2 blocker. These are drugs like Pepsid-AC or Zantac. They generally cause fewer side effects and are less expensive than a PPI. If you're going to eat something you know will irritate your stomach, you should take an H2 blocker ahead of time. And if you and your doctor do decide a PPI is really your best option, you should know there are alternatives that are much cheaper than Nexium. Our analysis shows that these medications are equally effective, equally safe, and you can shop by price. Nexium averages $240 a month, but over-the-counter PPIs like omeprazole average just $17 a month. Some people mistake pain from gallstones or heart disease for heartburn, so Consumer Reports cautions before starting any heartburn drug, see a doctor to rule out other health issues. I'm Consumer Watchdog Jen Strathman, fighting for you.